Good morning, Britain. The news at just after seven o'clock. Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell claims the Grenfell Tower victims were murdered by political decisions as yet more high-rise buildings fail fire safety inspections. The government says all 60 buildings examined so far have failed the tests. Six police officers injured in clashes with protesters overnight during a demonstration of the death of a young father following his arrest. There were dozens dead and missing as a ferry packed with tourists capsizes in Colombia. An extraordinary moment, a father heard his dead daughter's heart beating inside the chest of a man whose life she saved. We're joined by both men to hear their remarkable story after eight. Monday, 26th of June, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. So our main news at two minutes past seven, the Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell says that the victims of the Grenfell Tower fire were murdered by political decisions during a speech he made at Glastonbury. Well, this comes as 60 high-rise buildings across 25 council areas have failed safety tests. That's a 100% failure rate. Katie Riggs and Bootle, where cladding is being removed from two tower blocks. Our chief correspondent, Richard Gaysford, is at the Chalkers Estate in North London. Uh, Richard, you know, we just had an interview there with the housing mm. minister, which didn't leave me, I've got to be honest with you, much clearer about the situation here. Do we understand that the reason these people have been evacuated from these towers in Camden is because the cladding that was used is not only combustible and therefore dangerous, but also banned? Do we know that? 